my name is Dr. Blake Stringer. I'm the founding faculty member of Kent State's Aerospace Engineering Program. I'm also uh, the lead faculty for our Aeronautical Systems Engineering Technology Program here at Kent State. And as such, I've been responsible for researching and procuring equipment for our growing programs. And the centerpiece of one of those for any aerospace program is a wind tunnel. And so with the wind tunnel, I partnered with Buckeye Educational uh, to purchase the Tech Equipment AF100 subsonic wind tunnel. So the function of any wind tunnel is to be able to measure the forces that the wind puts on something when it's, when it's in an airstream. So like when you're sticking your hand out the window of a car and letting it go up and down. The same type of principle works with, with airplanes and other surfaces. So what's important about the wind tunnel is that you can see in real time the effects of the wind on any shaped body and it ver verifies and validates the theories that we teach in the classroom. The other great thing that this wind tunnel provided was a complete set of accessories uh, that you could order a la carte so to speak and what it really enabled us to do was order a thorough set of experiments that we could have our students go through to test or to show very different concepts in the field of aerodynamics. As an example, we have two wing sections. One's a large one, and one here is a small one. They're both the same shape, but what this demonstrates is the difference between what could be considered a two-dimensional wing here where air doesn't really flow around it versus what is a wingtip, where a wingtip gets flow that can go uh, around it and you get some differences in the aerodynamics that are generated. Well, we can show that this way. It's a very abstract concept theoretically, but in the wind tunnel, it becomes real and visible for the student. The best accessories that I purchased for this and I would recommend for anyone is this three component balance. And what it does is it measures a digital output of the lift, the drag, and the pitching moment that the aerodynamic forces exert on any given body. And most other types of wind tunnels, it's measured via pressure differences or uh, pressure rakes and other types of things that you can certainly use for this, but this just makes the process a whole lot cleaner, a lot easier because it's all digital and it gives you the numbers uh, straight out. It's a very simple calibration process for this piece. And so one of the easiest things to learn how to use for me personally as an experimentalist was the software. Sometimes software and setting up instrumentation can be difficult and quite complicated to do. In this case, it's very simple and everything's already wired into the software. The vertical data acquisition software from Tech Equipment is, is very easy to use. It's very convenient. It eliminates having to record things by hand, uh, which can make data uh, acquisition tedious and I can set it up and take each data point by hand. I can set it up to take a set of data over a certain amount of time and get the results instantly. Hit one button, it saves to, an, to a spreadsheet and I can download it into another program. So to demonstrate how the software works, we're gonna start it up here and just put it to a very low wind speed. We have everything zeroed out and we'll bring it up to about five or six meters per second which is right here. And five or six meters per second is somewhere around 10 or 11 miles an hour of wind speed. And you can see here we have some lift being generated. Uh, there's a drag force and then there's a pitching moment. And this is our angle of attack. And then as we change it, and let's say I wanna to go to approximately a five degree angle of attack. So as I increase the angle of attack to five degrees, You'll see that the lift values, the drag values, and the, the pitching moment values have changed somewhat. And the great thing about the software is I can go in and just come up top, pull up a data sequence win window, and hit a button, and there's a data point. Lift, drag, pitching moment, angle of attack, the wind speed is in there, everything's captured off off the device. I can go to another to another angle and we'll say try for 10 degrees 
And then once we're here at 10 degrees, we allow everything to go back to a steady state, let the numbers stabilize a little bit. And then when we're comfortable with that data, we can just hit the number again and our second data point is captured. So I hope I gave you a flavor of what the AF100 wind tunnel can do. Uh, it's really working out well here at Kent State as we launch our new programs. Uh, anyone who has an interest in our programs, uh, I'd encourage you to look us up at www.kent.edu here at Kent State. Find a program that's right for you. But otherwise, thanks for watching and I hope this has been informative.